What's up, wrestling fans? I hope everybody's having a good day, have a good lunch today. Everybody is ha uh, wondering what's going to happen to Shawn Michaels uh, in NXT. You know, the Road Dog's gone, the Triple H situation, the other situations. But the backstage news on Shawn Michaels, and this has been an article in, in, in many wrestling websites recently, plus just hearing from what people are saying in the company and around that they, I mean, first of all, I, I never thought Shawn Michaels would be let go in any way uh, fully from the company. He's just a legend in the company. It's like The Undertaker. These guys are grandfathered in forever. Shawn Michaels, I would think Triple H, The Undertaker, you know, even Stone Cold Steve Austin isn't as welcome in the company, it seems like, almost, as these guys. But, of course, Stone Cold is and The Rock. But The Rock, Stone Cold, you know, you know the list of guys. Um, but not only is Shawn Michaels one of those guys who's basically grandfathered into the company for all time, but they're high on Shawn Michaels. They really love what Shawn Michaels has been doing with training people, putting together matches, and then, of course, I guess his creative ideas behind the scenes. In some ways, Shawn Michaels may have eclipsed, you know, Road Dog and people like that as far as the favorability scale. Um, but since Triple H's cardiac event, Michaels has been taking over NXT 2.0 uh, behind the scenes. Um, now, Dave Meltzer did note recently that WWE is very high on Michaels, and um, he was brought in to just be a coach, but he's taken over the role as the guy due to circumstances, uh, you know, with Triple H's situation. Um, but William Regal, Gabe, uh, Sapolsky, and Road Dog were all recently let go. Uh, they were seen as Triple H's guys. HBK and the game are good friends as well, but Sean's... Uh, Shawn Michaels uh, does not appear to be in any kind of danger of being released or anything like that. And that's the that's basically what we've been hearing here, there, and the other place, and behind the water cooler, whatever the case is. So Shawn Michaels apparently is locked in NXT and isn't going anywhere. So love to hear what you guys have to say about that. But look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <gasps> <laughs> Sometimes I do that. Um, leave a comment down below, by the way, about that. And let me know what you think. And the person who drops a thanks down below, I will pin you to the top of this video. Whoever leaves the biggest thanks uh, down below. I hope you guys checked out Patreon the other day, too, by the way. We had a two-hour Patreon post-show special. It's up now. Go listen to it. If you missed it, go listen to it. And you're a patron. Listen to it. Plus, thanks to John McDonald for becoming a patron. Uh, Brian uh, Huerta for becoming a patron, and Jag DePanzer for going up to the $2 spot on Patreon recently. Um, also, um, the former announcer, Tom Phillips, um, talked about Michael Cole behind the scenes. He said, uh, when I hear I've got 10 seconds, I'm like, God, that's an eternity. You know what I mean? When I'm behind the, when I'm, when I'm on the camera and I'm, I'm doing commentary, you got 10 seconds. Um, but it's a long time. So he basically goes into that. He says, uh, while I have a ton of patience, he was very patient with me, but it was uh, just to be patient and to keep working. The things that Cole said, um, Cole was always guiding him. Um, and really, he didn't say much, much bad about Cole. Um, uh, he said, I'm going to come in here and, and they're going to do all this stuff. And I had to learn a lot. So for him to be patient with me, and teach me patience over the year. Granted, I'm still not perfect. Nobody is. Um, but I think that would be my biggest takeaway, uh, said Tom Phillips about Michael Cole. He said, Michael Cole's teachings have rubbed off on uh, Tom. Uh, and fans have noticed. Uh, the new voice of Impact has uh, received comparisons to Cole over the years. God, I, don't, I wouldn't want those. I'd want to receive comparisons to Cole as far as his production work. He's such a professional legend, Michael Cole is. Um but I wouldn't want to be that style. I just don't like that style. He said uh, that he appreciates that. I, I just don't think that's a style to shoot for. That's that's me. You know, Michael Cole is technically, he really is a legend in, in the business. So, But I think more of a producer and a guy who could just be an on, on TV personality. I, I, I do like Cole for that. And um, he is, man, it's, it's amazing that Michael Cole has been in this company since around WrestleMania 14, um, and just before WrestleMania 14, really. Uh, pretty amazing. It's been that long, man, since I was 14 years old. Uh, but 
that being said, uh, that's that's pretty much all the wrestling news I got for you right now. This little video here. I hope you guys uh, can leave some comments and uh, questions down below so you can ask me some stuff that maybe I can make a new video out of later on when I get home. Uh, and again, the person who leaves the top uh, super thanks down below. I will uh, go ahead and pin it to the top. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. You know what I mean? I see a lot of you guys that come back all the time, but you're not subscribed. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so a, a baby seal doesn't die. And, of course, ring the bell for all notifications if you like that. And uh, stick the thumb up my uh, up my little uh, G spot there. You know, make me happy down below. And become a patron on patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. I'm out of here, guys. Hope you have a good work day. Go listen to my two-hour podcast. If you need something to listen to, the two-hour post show from the other day is two hours. It's up on Patreon. It's uh, something you can listen to to get you through your work day and other things. Here's some other videos, though, if you don't want to do that or you've already done that, to continue to watch on my channel. Keep watching more Joe and in just in oh, take in the venomous poison that is Joe Cronin. Uh, uh,